Hello everyone, my name is Danny Hawley and I'm here at Roseanne's Hair Studio in Phoenixville about to interview Grace Campbell, one of the hairstylists here that I work with on Hotheads Extensions. And here she is. So Grace, you just became Hotheads certified and you are now an instructor. What was that experience like? It was so amazing. I am obsessed with hot heads. Um, I think everyone and their mom should have it. So I'm really excited to start teaching and educating other people on how to do them as well. That's awesome. So explain this process that you're doing right now with your fingers and everything. So I just applied the top of her tape tab. You just want to smooth it over for about 20 seconds just to make sure it stays. I'm actually going to be starting a new section right now so you can see the whole thing. So what would your advice be for sectioning? You want to take your sections close together but not so close together that they're going to touch each other. So right now I'm doing the side of her head and I want to do it behind the ear that way when the extensions grow out, they won't hit her ear constantly and be bothering her. Mm -hmm. So, my client here, Lauren, has curly hair. So just before I apply her extension, I'm just going to flat iron it. And it looks like you're being pretty picky about your parting lines. That's a pretty straight line there. Yes, that is the most important part about applying the hot heads is your sectioning has to be perfect. Because if it's not, the tabs can twist and mesh in with each other, get tangled, and create a dreadlock, which is not the look we're going for today. No, I would imagine that's correct. So we're just going to kind of come on in here. You can see this is her length look. here. Yep. Her before length, and this is what I have done so far in the okay. bag. So what's your like most important advice to somebody that would be thinking about getting these? Um, you have to be willing. It is maintenance. It's not hard maintenance, Close. but it's maintenance. Um, it's inexpensive. It's so worth it if you don't want to wait forever for your hair to grow. Um, it's actually the most important thing about them is it's zero damage to your hair. So while you have them in, the extensions create like a blanket for your real hair. So you're causing zero damage to your own hair. So your hair grows longer, even quicker than it would without them. Right, and I'm noticing that you're not using any heat or anything. Um, no real glue here. So what, what type of um, adhesive are we really working with here? They are tape tabs. So they stick to each other. There's no heat that needs to be applied. I just stuck one on here mm -hmm. to her hair. And I'm going to place another one on top. So the tabs stick to each other and not your hair. Right, because I'm noticing that your sections that you're putting on the, the tape is they're pretty fine. Yes. That's why I guess the tape can find itself through the hair. Absolutely. And an important tip for people you have finer hair, you don't have to worry about your tape tabs ever showing. They lay flat against your head, wear your hair on high ponytails, everything without seeing your tabs, which is most important because I see a lot of girls walking around and their tracks be showing. <laughs> yeah, and you know, I think that's a great point too because I see you're working on a very pale blonde and we just want to point out that when you drop that hair, you don't see those tabs. Nope. They're not sticking out, yeah, and they look very natural. and You won't see them at all. Very flat. If I go like this, I can't really feel them at all. Nope. Yeah. That's great. You wash your hair like you normally would. Is there anything we should watch out for there? Um, you, a professional product is a must, just because uh, alcohol and a lot of non-professional products can cause the tape tabs to slip out of the hair and make the adhesive less tacky. So professional products are a must, and with or without extensions, professional products are a must. But especially yeah. for extensions, it's a must. Couldn't agree with you more. Yes, 
You can swim, flat iron, curl your hair, everything that you would normally do to your own hair. Okay. So what about sleeping? What would your you know, advice be for how they should handle their hair overnight? While sleeping, just because you're getting so much length that you're not used to, um, I recommend sleeping with a low braid, like a side braid, kind of like what I have going on right now, or a low ponytail. That way when you're tossing and turning, they're not tangling together or getting knotty and no breakage. And I noticed when you um, put that piece in and then you go to put the other piece in, you're, you're taking some hair off the top there with your tail comb. What's the story on that? If you put too much hair in between the tape tab, um, there's not enough room for the tabs to stick together, which will make them not last. Now, for people with extremely fine hair, like how Lauren does now, a lot of her tabs I'm not taking the hair in between out just because her hair is so fine, so she needs that hair to hold on to. Yeah, I'm noticing most of her hair is just staying right, right down on that tape. Yeah. I'm just going to smooth it over just to make sure it stays. Now, from my understanding, it's the heat and the friction you're creating when you rub that tape together that bonds it, correct? Absolutely, yep. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for uh, talking about the Hot Heads extensions. You're welcome. Anytime. Yes. And where can we get these done? Roseanne's Hair Studio. Phone yeah. yeah. number is 610-933-7711. Awesome. Thanks so much. You're welcome.